Hey girl, how you doing? My hair is looking crazy. I'm trying to scrunch it, but thank you for coming to my channel today. My name is Lily Badass and welcome back and also welcome to the newcomers. Why do I struggle with that part? Anyway. <laughs> I wanted to kind of discuss a topic that I'm sure a lot of ladies struggle with, okay? I don't have tea, but I made iced coffee, homemade iced coffee. So the topic today is why he goes to you, why he just stopped texting, and how come, how come, how come when you, <laughs> when you text him? He hits you back, but it just feels kind of like, eh. Whereas before it was like, like he was just on it, on it, on it, on it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, let me take these hair clips out because I feel like y'all not gonna take me seriously. I was trying to scrunch it without holding it. You see it? It's it's 90 degrees today. I'm trying to get, whoop. Um, and I oop. <laughs> I'm trying to give wet and wavy so that if I sweat, it don't matter. Feel me? And it worked. It worked. This the same glueless wig but it's it's fine we rocking it still because we paid for it we ain't wasting no coins over here so let's start with okay the fact that say you're talking to somebody and you got a huge crush on him okay and doesn't it always seem like it's the ones that we're really just like ah, you know not the ones that we're just like mm, all right leave me alone i don't care i don't care i feel like everybody talks to someone that they're just kind of like mm, i like you but I don't really care if you move. Oof. Um, <laughs> so it usually starts with somebody that you're very interested in. The thing here is sometimes when we're a little bit too interested in someone, um, we tend to, you know, do things that may unintentionally make them want to stop talking to us. Um, and I'm going to go over those bullet points. Um, so I think first and foremost, something that we might do, which I know I've probably done in the past, is just being too available or being too eager, you know, to see them. Like, I know it's going to sound like a game and we're grown and stuff like that, but um, sometimes we kind of are a little bit too eager to just kind of like give ourselves and our time to these undeserving fuckboys. Um, and you know we have to kind of feel people out and make sure that what we thought because when you crush on somebody you're just kind of like I like him oh, this, give yourself a chance to get to know the person and you know kind of feel them out first because sometimes you might realize later on down the line like mm, I don't think I really like him like that I thought I thought I did but now that I'm getting to know him, he's just like everybody else, or he's a fuck boy, or he's a loser, cornball, whatever you want to call him. Um, but if you rush into things, then it's too late. You might have already gave him the nani. You know what I'm saying? You might have already given it up, and now you're just like, damn. You don't want another body on you for no reason. No. Chill out. Chill out. Pump your brakes. It's hard. It's easier said than done to just kind of be like, calm down, take it easy, take it slow, play it cool, play it cool. But you have to try. Just kind of keep reminding yourself, like, all right, let me just chill out, cause I like him, but I don't want him to know that I like him like that. You feel me? Um, the number two thing here, why he probably ghosted. He probably got. He probably has many more other girls that he's talking to more than likely because you might even have other guys that you're talking to um and he's just like all right i already got what i wanted or maybe he just realized he wasn't feeling you like that so he's like all right next so when that happens don't get more thirsty when a guy ghosts you or he starts acting funny or different don't get more thirsty don't what are you doing why aren't you texting me because i've had people do that to me 
and it's annoying so just imagine like you really feeling a guy and he's it seems like he's basically not even thinking about you if he's not hitting you up you can send a little you know casual text like hey what's up you know but if that vibe is still there like that mm, like hey hi and it's just kind of like sis rip the band-aid off now do it now just stop because you're gonna only keep hurting yourself I'm not saying that he's just like completely not interested in you we never know what people are going through in their lives but for the most part we we both know come here get closer move back we both know when you like somebody you like them and you make time for them okay even if you're going through something you still you know what I'm saying you can kind of give them some type of time um, of your day but if it has been days and days and you still have not heard back and you always have to initiate the conversation just let it go let it go let it go boy if you don't just let it go because you're gonna only end up embarrassing yourself and hurting yourself more it's true and you know it because that 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 little the little demon on your shoulder that's like, text him, ask him what happened, ask him what are we, what are we? Are we something now that I gave up the boom boom nani nani, the nani nani. You just, he's just like, if y'all were here, he's just like, uh huh, yeah, no. Like, like I said, rip the band aid off now and just stop. There's plenty more men out there, okay? Even though there are more women in the world than there are men, there's still plenty more men out there. Just let it go because you're going to look like a thirst bucket and you don't want that. It's embarrassing. And at the end, it's not going to do anything for you. It's not like he's going to be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. You're absolutely right. Let's go right back to how it was in the beginning. It's not going to happen. And if it does, let it happen organically. Let it happen naturally. Okay. Don't force it because it's embarrassing and it's not cute. Okay trying to keep it cute so we already covered that number one might have ghosted because you were too eager and too quick you jumped the gun you might have gave it up and now he's just like well i already got what i wanted you're cute and everything but mm, some it's something in guys natural nature to like the thrill of the chase i know it's annoying and it sounds stupid but it's very true they like to you know have unfinished business like yeah let me conquer this this is like you know interesting to me it's like in their natural instinct to be that way unfortunately um so don't jump the gun and give it up too fast you know take things slow keep yourself busy make him wait a little bit don't overdo it make him wait a little bit with text messages <laughs> always do it i always do it with text messages with your time like dates and stuff like that everything everything and then the next thing is he might have ghosted you because he has other girls and he ain't worried about you rip off the band-aid stop just go about your business and if he sees your worth in the future and you're still interested kudos you didn't embarrass yourself you know what I'm saying you can still redeem yourself once you embarrass yourself he's gonna look at you in a different way like like ew like it's just not cute when somebody's like how come you don't want to talk to me <laughs> why what did i do what i thought we were cool i thought we were going somewhere i was gonna have your babies whoa whoa <laughs> whoa slow down okay but um yeah so and i feel like one of the last things i'm gonna mention here is the reason why he may have ghosted is he just doesn't like your vibe. Like, you may be very much attractive and he might be physically, you know, interested in you in that way. But once a guy gets to know you, even if their intentions are not to, like, wife somebody, it's kind of like if the vibe is not there or you guys just think differently. Like, you ever had a conversation with someone and you're just kind of like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you're thought processes are so opposite that it's like all right i'm done i'm gonna talk to you you crazy and they might be thinking the same way some people just don't click and even if you thought that you guys clicked if he doesn't feel the same way he's not gonna want to keep pursuing you because it's like 
I was not feeling vibes. She was too stuck up or she was too political or she was just too, I don't know, whatever the case is, that that's another reason. Once again, you can't push it. You can't force somebody to like you because it's always not gonna end up in your favor. If you force it, you're gonna always feel that deep down like, okay, I got what I want kinda, we talking and we chilling, but it's, it's not gonna ever feel natural. So don't push it, you feel me? Just let it go. Okay. Um, and I feel like that's about it. I think I covered everything. You may have gotten ghosted. Let's review. Let's review. You may have gotten ghosted because one, you gave it up too fast. Whatever it is, your time, your body, okay? Your, just your interest level. Like when guys know that they got you, it's not exciting anymore. Cause it's like, okay. Like I said, you're cute, but mm, it's not fun anymore right now. And especially if they're not looking for a relationship, it's like, mm, okay, that's, you can move along now. Number two reason why they might have ghosted you is because they just got other hoes and they're not worried about you. That's it. Maybe he had a girlfriend. You're just not on his mind and you're not piquing his interest anymore. Rip off the band-aid. Screw, screw. And number three, the vibes, the energy, the interest level, mentally and emotionally, whatever, just might not be there, okay? You know, you guys might not even want the same thing, whether it's based on like relationships or goals in life or whatever. And maybe he felt that not click thing and was just like, okay, no. So either way, whatever reason it is out, out of all three of those, let's cut him off. Cut him off, cut him off. Rip off the band-aid, keep it moving, keep it cute. <sighs> Pray, okay? Take a deep breath, it's gonna be okay. I know if it, it, it stings. I'm not gonna say it hurts because it's not like you were in love yet or anything. It stings a little bit, burns a little, tss, ouch. Okay, a little paper cut. <laughs> but it, you'll be fine, just keep it moving. Don't embarrass yourself, they're not worth it. Don't seem too thirsty, keep it moving and you'll be fine. And um, a lot of times they always come back. And by the time they come back, you're probably like, mm, mm, I'm not interested now. Now what? So, <laughs> I ain't got time for you now, so bye. <laughs> um, that might be another topic because I don't know what it is with guys. Though. They always come running back. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please leave your comments and your thoughts below. Have you ever been through something like this before? What did you do to get past it? Um, and yeah, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because I'm going to keep doing little Millie Talk segments like this. I don't know what to name it yet. So the name is a work in progress. But um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.